Hey guys, I know it's been a while since my last video, I've just been really busy with stuff lately, but I come bearing gifts, so maybe that makes up for it. Today we're going to be using TradingView Trainer, which is a program I made with Python, and basically it can be used to simulate trading, and it's really simple, and it uses TradingView, so if you already have an account, that works really well. I'll show you how to use it, even if you don't have an account though, so that's all good. I'll also show you guys how to install it, but first I'll just give you a demo so you guys can see how it works. So this is what it's going to look like when it first launches. You're going to have the terminal and it's going to launch a browser window to this page. And it's going to ask you to log in. You don't have to log in. It's just, it's going to be easier if you want to use custom indicators and stuff like that. And I think it also is required to use the replay function right here. So let's say you want to simulate the past five days of trading. Let's see what time frame are we on? Three minutes? Okay, yeah. Let's say you want to simulate the last five days of trading. We go back to five days. Let's just let's just go around here. April twenty fifth. That's good. Now once we're five days back, you're gonna use this forward button and let's say for whatever reason let's say th again this is all to um, help you perfect your edge so to speak so let's say we see this RSI trying to make a support or divergence whatever you want to call it for the sake of this tutorial and let's say we want to enter a long position so to do that we use the F7 key which buys and you can see open long at 205.89 and let's just say let's just say we keep going and it looks like we made a tiny bit of profit so let's just let's just say we want to close it so to do that we hit the F8 key and it's going to it's, it's basically going to follow the first in first out rule of pretty much pretty much almost all exchanges so after you buy to close along you sell and if you short you're gonna buy so so there's only really two keys but with those two keys you can open along you can open a short and you can close longs and you can close shorts so you can also see that it gives you PL percentage and it gives you your profit and then it also down here it tells you your account value so a few things to note the account value, it starts at $10,000 and each trade you make, it's going to be, it's going to be using 100% of the account value. So when I started, it was $10,000 and now my next trade, it's going to be using $10,034. Um, I think you, yeah, yeah, you can set this in the config file. Let me go to it, but only for the Python version. So that's why I also recommend, uh, recommend doing the Python version, but you can see, you can also do username and password if you don't feel like logging in, but this is totally, totally optional. Um, there's also the fee right here, so if th this fee is a bit, a bit exaggerated, um, but I, I usually, on the executable on this, the fee is 0 0.05, so, so whatever that is and it's 0 0.05 of the position size for each trade so it also it does the same exact thing if you if you have a losing trade versus a winning trade but yeah it'll calculate all of that for you and basically you just go through and it's like you want to buy here so you hit f7 there um that's that's a terrible trade so if you want to get out of that trade you hit f8 there so now we can go on to actually installing it. So there's two versions. There's the Python version, which I would recommend more than the executable because this one I can update really easily and you can just you can just clone it or or whatever with with a GitHub. It makes updating it on both ends a lot easier, a lot faster. But if you're not a programming person, that's okay because we have the executable right here. But basically, we just we just go down to here and we click this link and I will leave this in the description. We click that and it's going to be downloading a zip file and I already have that so I don't need it. 
once you have once you download it it's going to look something like this and we're just going to right click and extract it and it's going to give us two files and i really i can't stress this enough that both of these they have to be in the same exact directory or it won't work so this is the app itself and this is chrome driver um, and this is true for both both versions for the python and executable but chrome driver it's basically a special version of chrome that this whole thing runs on and that that is what allows it to grab those that data like the price to to do its all all its calculations so this being in this folder with the app is 100 percent necessary the both of these they can be anywhere they want but they just have to be together so once you download it all you got to do is you just got to click it and it should run and it, there we go so i like to do this little thing where i where i can split them both 50 percent of the screen and again you don't have to log in but I would recommend it to use custom indicators and bunches, bunch of cool stuff like that. So either way, you're, we're just gonna hit enter and it's gonna bring us to the chart. And it looks like Apple did really well today. Just a side note. And again, we just, whatever you want. If, if you don't have a TradingView account, you're not gonna be able to use the replay mode, but you can just, you can just do a bit of a bootleg replay mode, which is just, just doing this and let's say I'm a genius. I know Apple's gonna go up. I, I hit over here, I hit F7, opens along and we, we scroll and let's say I want out right here. We hit F8 and it does that. And let's say we do the exact opposite. We, we open a short here, close it there and you can see that it does, it does basically the same exact calculation just just in reverse, so. I think that's gonna do it. If you have any questions, the best way to get in contact with me is through Twitter. While you're there, feel free to follow me. I put out some interesting stuff from time to time, or interesting to me at least. Um, I also do the latest videos, articles, just, just, just cool stuff. And I also wanna say thanks to all the new subscribers. It really helps motivate me to make these videos. But other than that, I will see you guys next time.